There's no end to the farmers and the centre's deadlock over the legal guarantee for MSP on crops. Now, after the farmers rejected that latest proposal by the government, they have now said that they will be resuming their march to Delhi from today. Barricades have started coming up at that Punjab-Haryana border once again. And meanwhile, the Minister of State Agriculture has gone on to say that he hopes that the talks would continue and that, like last time, the farmers' protest does not turn violent. Uh, well, the Ministry of Home Affairs has gone on to also, uh, you know, has written a letter. Uh, this is to the Punjab Chief Secretary to ensure that law and order uh, is not disrupted. As far as uh, the areas uh, that are impacted, uh, let's uh, just uh, talk about the kind of barriers that have been put up, uh, whether it is uh, cemented barriers, uh, also large containers, nail strips have been put in place in order to stop the movement of the farmers. So these are the arrangements, but the farmers are adamant. They are saying that they will find their way towards Delhi and that they do remember they had been standing down for days now while the talks were going on between the centre and the government uh, as far as the farmers are concerned. But those talks fell through and now the farmers have decided to march ahead. Let's listen into what Arjun Munda had to say. We और सभी खुशहाली के लिए यह सुनिश्चित करना चाहते हैं कि हम सब मिलकर के समाधान ढूंढें और ऐसे विषयों पर हम गंभीरता से विचार करें उस प्रस्ताव से वो सहमत नहीं है पर यह बातचीत यह वार्ता यह संवाद हमारा जारी रहना चाहिए और शांतिपूर्ण ढंग से हमें इसका समाधान ढूंढना चाहिए से आप आगे बढ़ेंगे और पीसफुली रहेंगे भी हमारी ओर से कोई ऐसा ना हो जिससे नुकसान हो लेकिन हमें मालूम है कि सरकार हमारे ऊपर प्रहार करेगी और हमें कुछ दुखद सीन देखने को मिलेंगे इससे हम आज भी चाहेंगे कि अभी भी समय है सरकार इसके बारे में सोच ले कितने मूव करेंगे आप आपसे पूछ करेंगे हां देखिए ये जो समय दिया गया था वही समय है पहले वाला Right, uh, we have uh, my uh, colleagues, uh, let's uh, just uh, cut across to Ghazali who's uh, joining us uh, from the Shambhu border. We also have Eshwarya joining us uh, from the Singhu border. Let's, uh, let me go to Ghazali first. Ghazali, concrete barriers, barbed wires, large shipping containers uh, being part of that multi-layer blockade by the administration. They are fortifying uh, the border when it comes to Haryana. Uh, they've also used nail strips in order to you know, curtail the movement. Uh, what kind of arrangements have the farmers made? Can you please repeat? Can you please repeat? Ghazali, we do know the kind of, uh, you know, the layer of security that's being put up uh, by uh, the centre in order to disrupt the movement of the farmers. Take us through the kind of arrangements that the farmers have made in order to make their way through. I'll just show you uh, what's happening here early morning. Uh, uh, it's very foggy right now. The farmers are just waking up for today's development. They have brought in heavy machinery here, excavators and all for which the Punjab DGP has also written to his own subordinates in the state while his counterpart Haryana DGP has also written to the Punjab DGP to stop the movement of tippers, excavators, earth movers and why it is more concerning because thousands of farmers with their tractors will be coming to this location at Shambhu border and then those heavy machineries will also be deployed to ensure that farmers easily march towards the Shambhu border. What you can see in my frame is the part uh, uh, is the direction towards the Ambala side. We are right now towards the Patiala or say the Mohali side of the Shambhu border and I'm also joined here by by Ramandeep Man. He's not only a farm expert, uh, but also a farm union leader who was part of the team which communicated or which was in discussion with the union government which held around four round of talks. And I'll try to understand through him by him that what exactly is the plan of action today. Uh, Raman ji, first of all, tell me that when you know that the government is saying that you will not go to Delhi, you will not go to Delhi, you will also be rejected, and you will also be rejected. And in which way, the government is from the police, what do you think? You will go to which way? You will say that you will be peaceful, peaceful. Which way will you be peaceful if they will stop? Look, those people will stop. We are also saying that we will go to the ground, we will kill the ground, we will eat the ground. मैं तो उस दिन गोलियां भी चलाई वो जो तो रबड़ की जो बुलेट्स होती हैं वो भी चलाई और जो तो पैलेट भी चलाए इन्होंने 
तो हमने तो कुछ नहीं किया हम तो आगे जाने की कोशिश करेंगे बस और बचेंगे कैसे जब वो गोलियां चलाएंगे या मान लीजिए पेलेट गन है या टीयर गैस शेल है या लाठी चार्ज है जब इतनी बड़ी भीड़ होती है तो पहले पुलिस तो लाठी चार्ज ही करती है अगर मान के चले तो क्या लगता है कि कैसे रुकेंगे और जो सीमेंटेड स्ट्रक्चर उन्होंने खड़ा किया है ये दो हजार वाला नहीं है कि आप उसको खींच लेंगे या जे से हटा देंगे अब तो उन्होंने बाजाबता उसको कंस्ट्रक्शन किया है हाईवे पे कई जगह पे तो कैसे उसको रोकेंगे या कैसे उसको करके जाएंगे फिर देखो यहाँ पे थोड़ी लेके भी आए मशीनरी और बाकी जज्बा है वो तो किले भी फतेह हो जाते हैं तो आराम से जाएंगे शांति प्रिय जो तरीके से जाएंगे और जाएंगे जरूर पंजाब डीजीपी ने कल अपने एसएसपीज को भी एक पत्र लिख के कहा कि आप किसी भी हेवी मशीन जो है एक्सकेवेटर जेसीबी टिपर और अर्थ मूवर वैसी चीजें शंभू बॉर्डर पे ना लाने दिया जाए पहली चीज हाई कोर्ट की कल टिप्पणी थी कि किसानों को भी आ, पंजाब सरकार को ये निर्देश दिया था कि किसानों को शंभू या टिकरी बॉर्डर पे ज्यादा भीड़ इकट्ठी करने ना दें और आप लोगों के लिए टिप्पणी थी कि अगर दिल्ली जाना ही चाहते हैं तो बस और ट्रेनों में क्यों नहीं चले जाते मोटर व्हीकल एक्ट का ये वायलेशन होगा अगर आप ट्रैक्टर लेके हाईवे पे चलेंगे देखो जी हमारा जो मोड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट है वो है ट्रैक्टर अब जो माननीय हाई कोर्ट ने कहा उसके ऊपर तो कोई टिप्पणी नहीं उसकी इज्जत करती है जो हमारा मोड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट है ट्रैक्टर हम तो शादियों में भी ट्रैक्टर पे जाते हैं मेले पे भी ट्रैक्टर पे जाते हैं और वहाँ पे जाके जो जो हमारे माननीय मोदी जी हैं उनसे हाथ जोड़ के प्रार्थना करिए वो भी ट्रैक्टर पे जाएंगे और जाएंगे ट्रैक्टर पे ठीक है तो पीसफुल रहेगा चांस लगता है कहीं से मुझ मैंने आपको शुरू में ही बोल दिया लाठी मारेंगे लाठी खा लेंगे अगर मारेंगे गोली गोली खा लेंगे शांति प्रिय तरीके से जाएंगे सो दिस इज वॉट ही सेज दैट वी विल स्टिल मेंटेन पीस डिस्पाइट वॉट एवर द पुलिस एक्शन हैपन्स आफ्टर इलेवन एम वेन दार्ट मार्चिंग फ्रॉम हेयर जस्ट वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन आई लास्ट हिम कितने लोगों के आने की संभावना है शंभू पे और कितने लोगों के आने की संभावना खनौरी बॉर्डर पे है यहाँ पे ये कम से कम चालीस हजार आदमी होगा और 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 इतने ही वहाँ पे होंगे खनौरी और आप लोगों ने ये इंश्योर किया है कि किसी के पास कोई हथियार वगैरह क्योंकि पुलिस अपने हर पत्र में ये लिख रही है मैं आपसे सिर्फ एक सवाल पूछ रहा हूँ कल हरियाणा के डीजीपी ने पंजाब के डीजीपी को एक चिट्ठी में एक बात लिखी है कि हमें क्रेडिबल इनपुट्स मिले हैं कि ये लोग बैरिकेड तोड़ेंगे जो आप कह रहे हैं दूसरी चीज लिखिए कि ये महिलाओं और बच्चों को आगे कर देंगे तो इसमें आप ये जरूर ध्यान रखिएगा कि महिलाओं और बच्चों को ये आगे ना करें या उनको पहले ही हटा दें ये हरियाणा के डीजीपी ने पंजाब के डीजीपी को लिखा है ये ऐसी बातें हम कायर नहीं जी बहन की औरतों को आगे करें आगे मर्द ही जाएंगे और और जो है गोरी भी मर्द ही खाएंगे कोई औरत बच्चा कोई नहीं होगा ये तो मेरे को तो समझ नहीं आती बात क्या करते हैं ये कोई औरत बच्चा नहीं है जी आगे ठीक है वी होप इट स्टेज पीसफुल हम भी उम्मीद करते हैं कि खून खराबा ना हो कोई वायलेंस ना हो वट ही स्टिल इंसिस्ट दैट डिस्पाइट ऑल द गैदरिंग एंड वॉट एवर दिल्ड अप इज देयर टूवर्ड्स द हरियाणा साइड देर दे विल रिमेन पीसफुल रिगार्डलेस ऑफ वॉट एवर द पुलिस एक्शन विल बी देयर आफ्टर इलेवन एम एंड प्लान टू मूव टूवर्ड्स हरियाणा अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड सिग्निफिकेंट फैक्ट इज दैट ही क्लेम दैट अराउंड फोर्टी थाउजेंड पीपल विल गैदर हेयर विद देयर ट्रैक्टर्स वेन आई आज हिम दैट वाई दे आर नॉट चूजिंग अनदर मीन्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट टू रीच न्यू डेली और डेली टू नेशनल कैपिटल ही सेज वी ट्रेवल बाई आर ट्रैक्टर्स टू इवन मैरिजेज एंड अदर फंक्शन और सोशल गैदरिंग्स एज वेल सो वील हैव टू सी दैट वॉट काइंड ऑफ प्रिकॉशन or restrain will the haryana police maintain any restraint to stop them and how they will be able to breach those cemented structures and barricades near the shambhu and khanauri border right uh, gazali uh, reporting from the shambhu border we also have ashwarya at the singhu border ashwarya take us to the arrangements that are in place as far as the singhu border is concerned i mean the farmers have created a makeshift tank to counter the measures and continue their march towards delhi the first day of the protests or intense protests uh, such as you know tear gas shells being fired by the police to disperse the farmers what kind of measures will the farmers be taking in order to ensure that uh, you know they can breach uh, the security cover that's at the borders Well certainly after four levels of uh, talks that happened between the government of India and the farmers union uh uh it was inconclusive and therefore the reason perhaps today uh what we are hearing is at around 11 am uh, the farmers unions uh, will uh, start their march from uh, uh, shambhu border and uh, they will try to reach uh, delhi but here at shambhu shingu border where uh, currently we are reporting from uh, what we can see is multi level barricading that has been put in place by the delhi police there is been no permission that has been given by delhi police to reach uh, over here uh, at uh, shingu border it's a long way uh, that farmers have to 
uh, have to start from from uh, from Chembu border to uh, reach to Singhu border and to reach ultimately to Delhi where they wanted to uh, gather and uh, submit their memorandum. But on the other side, what uh, I can show you in my frame is uh, uh, the barricades that have been put in place. Section 144 had also been imposed here at uh, Singhu border. Multi-level barricading, including the shipping containers and uh, the uh, cemented barricades that has been uh, put in place by the Delhi police, the right control vehicles also been placed over here and over 2,000 uh, security personnel including Delhi police and the uh, rapid action forces have also been deployed to tackle the situation but uh, uh, it is uh, first the farmers who are uh, uh, who are adamant that they will be uh, starting from uh, uh, Shimbu border and then they will, they will be reaching at uh, Shingu. Uh, it's a long way for them because several barricades have also been put between, between uh, the uh, area that they had to travel in between Haryana. Uh, of course uh, what we saw uh, on the other side is government of India continuously appealing the farmers and the farmers unions that uh, they should uh, maintain peace and uh, the dialogue should be open, the communication should go on and there could be a possible resolution of what the farmers are demanding but uh, it went inconclusive and therefore the reason perhaps today at 11 a.m. they will again start. But as far as farmers are concerned what we are getting to know from our sources is that they had brought uh, uh, the earth uh, uh, moving uh, uh, machines, they had bought JCBs, they had bought book lanes and therefore the reason perhaps uh, uh, the Haryana DGP who has written to the Punjab DGP to ensure law and order and to tackle that uh, situation uh, uh, is certainly uh, to be seen on the other side. The MHA has also written to Punjab and uh, uh, Haryana government to ensure that law and order remains in place and intact as far as uh, this protest is concerned. Uh, what will happen next is something that will remain to be seen as far as the day's development is concerned. But on the other side, uh, the Delhi police clearly intact over here with several security personnel, senior officials reaching at Chingu border uh, to maintain peace. They are not being allowed uh, uh, strictly as far as uh, the Delhi police is concerned for farmers to reach Delhi.